Someone said Chloe's wide awake. <laughs> Maybe Max is the one who fell asleep. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. I've never seen uh, Blade Runner. Do you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? <laughs> sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Oh no, um, what's wrong? I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Oh it's, my god. Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Should I be giving it to you? I'm on it, Chloe. I hope she's like not like addicted and she's only supposed to have a certain amount and she's using me to get it. Although I don't think Chloe would manipulate me like that. So... Are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? Of course not. No way. No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful that I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Um, not really. Not really. No. There are some cute boys there, but you know me. I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. I was supposed to go out with this guy named Warren, but I don't oh, think yeah, Warren doesn't anymore. like us in this reality. Loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit, I sound like my dad. How is William? How is William? I, I was gonna pick the other one for a second. Do you like having him around? Of course, he's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or mom. I wish I could do something for him. You have. You're here with your family. More yeah. like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. I get that, like, everybody's alive and together, but, like, the circumstances are totally miserable. And it doesn't even matter if everybody in this reality would say that they would choose this reality over the other one because this is not the reality that's supposed to be, so we need to go back. Oh, God, Victoria texted us. Come by my room tonight, Max. Are we cool? I just wanted to make sure you talked away. Nathan was worried. Okay, so everyone in this reality is totally different. Like, totally different. Everybody is different. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, they made it to Paris. It's cool. I wonder if I can talk to Chloe about Paris. I want to do it. See if I can talk to Chloe about Paris. Hey, Chloe. I just saw you went to Paris. Can I talk to you about it? Sorry, Max. Oh, I'm never mind. I wanted to see if I could talk to Chloe about Paris. She went to Paris. Or maybe she didn't. Damn. I mean, she must have. Because they wouldn't go to Paris without her. That's just not the way they work. As a family, they wouldn't do that. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV and they use her shitty tube television. Because they care so much about her. Oh my god, I love this family. 
I definitely am. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. William's gonna have to take a third job. I just caught that. Oh my god, our markings are here. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Oh my god, can we go outside? Hey, Chloe. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. How did she just look over and was like frightened and had a heart attack? Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Wow. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Chloe. This is so sad. There's the grave. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Oh my god, there's dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too? You know, it's kind of sad that, like, they put them in the trash can rather than burying them. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you're trash. You're the garbage. Looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Oh. What else? Did we get everything here? I think we saw everything here. So let's go inside. Oh, wait, what's this? The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. I don't know. Everything looks better, I guess, but everything isn't better. I think that's the point. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Ugh. She Rachel Amber is even missing in <gasps> this reality. Rachel Amber is still missing in this reality? But she was, but she's, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Okay, just follow me with this logic right now. Okay, so obviously, Chloe said that she does not know the missing girl. So Chloe and Rachel were never friends in this reality, and every single person we met is different, yet she's still missing. So she's missing because of something that hasn't been affected. So whatever in this reality has not changed, whatever has not been affected somehow by William's resurrection is the reason why Rachel is missing. And this is how we can solve it. I know the point of this re alternate reality now. It's to, one, show that Max can go through photographs now. She can do that now. That's one purpose. And the other purpose is to kind of pinpoint why Rachel Amber is missing. So whoever was not affected by this is obviously the reason why she's missing. So I don't think it was Nathan. I don't think it was Nathan who did it. Who could have fucking been? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. That's awful. Best Donald Clamp lenders. Fuck you, Donald Clamp lenders. 12,000 in 15 days. There's no way they can afford that. Oh, terrific. Hi, William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. With her so fucking white mind? pants. So gross. Um, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Um, is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will. So I, it kind of looks like Max is thinking about. She's. It 
that just leads me to believe that Max is thinking of switching it back. Because she's like, whatever happens, I want you to know I'll always be there for your daughter. So obviously she's, she's thinking of going back again. Obviously. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. So Chloe did I go. I see her loving okay. it there. You guys rock for this going on a family the adventure accident. like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. That's sad. It's not fair, Max. It isn't fair. Um, Joyce? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. It makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? It is, because Rachel Amber is still missing. Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe. So, obviously, might... Rachel missing has nothing at all to that. do with Chloe. At all. Because she's still missing regardless of having never known Co Chloe. And I don't think it was Victoria or Nathan because they're totally different in this reality. They were, they were, they are worried about me and they're friends with me. So they're obviously not assholes in this reality. So obviously something, it's none of these characters have anything to do with Rachel. So it's something else. I think it might be Max somehow. Like maybe Max went back in time and told Rachel to leave or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go back. Um, I guess that's it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. It might be. But please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. I can't deal with this. This is too much responsibility. No change to spare anymore. Oh, wow. Now it's back to cookies. Oh, my God. Coupons. Choice is a food coupon boss. Well, they have to be to survive now, I guess. Um... Maybe she can get some tips from Honey Boo Boo's mother. Because apparently she's like a coupon queen or whatever. Coupon queen. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Oh my god. 3400 Shit. One hundred, one thousand dollars One... Twelve... Twelve hundred a... A week. That's fucking so ridiculous. How can they afford this? How can they afford? They can't. I don't. I feel like sick, like terminally sick kids should not be billed because there's one, no family ever. I don't care how rich you are can afford all the bills. And two, you would really take a home away from like a really sick kid. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Is that cannabis oil? I don't even know. I don't even Nothing know. Here. I'm in the fast lane. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Ew. Medicine's gross. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Me neither, Max. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Me too. It's the white pants. They ne they're never flattering, Max. Don't ever wear white pants again. Oh, wow. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Oh, hey, Joyce. Joycey Joyce. Joyce, Joyce, Joyce. What's in the air? William is trying so hard. Super dad. He's still awesome. Letters. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh no, I should read this. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. 
If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. So Chloe's worsening. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Oh my god. Joyce is already a super mom. They're both super moms. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I don't want to say Chloe needs so. help. That's kind of shitty to say. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much. And she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Stop, stop. I'm gonna cry right now. Stop, I'm please. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good. I can't I deal with every this. Moment with my daughter and my husband. This is so this fucking is depressing. And we'll always be one. This is almost more no depressing than Kate Marsh. Like, Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna... I'm I can't gonna listen. I can't. I can't listen. I need a, a, a little bit of a you, break Joyce. before I talk to her. You I'm too, gonna honey. start crying. I don't like... We're changing this back, Max. I don't fucking care what you want. This is what I want. Oh my god, Chloe's room. What's in her room now? Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. I can only imagine the struggle, William. Can't help you with a loan. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. <laughs> Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Max, we can't mess with time anymore. We can't do this anymore, Max. This is this is the result of it. This is the result of you messing with time. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Wish I could have sent you a bigger check, so... It's so sad, like, they're so desperate for money. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidences. Not in this At world. At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. <laughs> Who's a bus driver I guess now? We stopped growing up together. Oh my god, <laughs> stop. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. That would be cruel. Don't do it. But then I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? This is so upsetting. I want to look at her door because I saw I could do that. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Let's go finish the rest of the conversation with Joyce. Now that I'm not about to break down anymore. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Hey, Joyce. 
back again. No complaints here. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Um, David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. <sighs> so lots of work. Yes. You guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do That's... you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Oh, shit. That was kind so, of fucking messed up. Okay, so maybe Nathan hasn't changed. Here with all of this eco havoc. Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. So maybe it is feeling. Nathan. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Um, Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, I don't... It's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. This is so, so sad. I guess we better... Oh my god, Chloe's down there with her head pains. We better hurry and get back to her. Oh my god, I am a fucking horrible friend. I need to hurry. Hurry, Max. Hurry, rush downstairs. We need to hurry right now. Let's hurry. Hi, hi William. Bye, William. <laughs> I'm so sorry it took so long, Chloe. Oh, wait. Did I open these drawers? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Ew! Ew! Why? Why would you say that, Max? Nothing but medical supplies. Here, I got your morphine, Chloe. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug Was it that in. a Masic Matrix it's reference? So easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Sure. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. <laughs> <gasps> Photos. This is so sad. But it's kind of nice. I mean, it's bittersweet. I is mean, that okay. Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Banished? 
Oh, Chloe. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Time. That was an awkward moment. <laughs> oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Oh, that's the day we went Literally back to. It seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Do it. Do it, Max. Do it. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and. Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Chloe. Do you understand? No. Oh. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Don't ask me to do that. Don't ask me to do that, Chloe. You don't. Don't ask me that. I can't kill you, Chloe. I don't know. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all and I did everything I could to try and save her life how can I be responsible for ending yours I mean th there's got to be another tell way. her tell her about Max, your power you Max your friend no matter what now I'm asking you to help me the same way I want to help you Chloe but I, th I think my help is hurting at least you have a choice when you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh, now I don't even get a choice. can't refuse. It's her choice. <sighs> Joyce and William are going to hate me. <sighs> Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Aww. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. I'm Never. coming back for you, I Chloe. You, I'm coming back. See you around. See you soon. Sooner than you think. Soon.
go back in the photo max. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> this last time. We just gotta undo this. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the twin star. You mean your college fund? You can't mess with time anymore, Max. We're uh -huh. done. You can't hide from me forever. <laughs> William. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. I'm sorry, Max, William. You too, right? I'm sorry. That makes all of us. For your daughter. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. Sorry, Chloe. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. Oh, I promise. I'll always have your back. Always. I 